Hey y'all, Data Guy here. And today, I got a video for you on something that I just struggled immensely with. So I thought I'd make a video on the topic to actually help everyone else do the same thing. And that is creating an external stage with Snowflake. Um, I thought loading data from an S3 bucket into Snowflake would be really easy to set up. But turns out you gotta mess around with a lot of connections because Snowflake deprecated the use of, you know, the command line access where you could just Hey, pull my access key, pull my secret key, make a temporary connection to an S3 bucket, and then load a data from that S3 bucket. Now you have to create a IAM role within Snowflake. You have to create a managed integration. Or, uh, you've created an IAM role within Amazon. Then you have to go and create a role within Snowflake and then pass the information back into Amazon. Um, and then you also need to run a few commands to actually set up the stage, create the managed integration um, on the Snowflake side of things as well. So a lot of different things to do. The documentation's okay, but it doesn't get into some of the kind of the nitty gritty of it. So that's why I wanted to make this video because it, it is just kind of annoying and I thought I'd help out um, some people at least figure it out for themselves. Um, so basically what we're gonna be doing here is, and I'll show you what I've already got set up here, is you're going to, within my Snowflake environment, um, my aim here was, hey, I wanna load some CSV data into Snowflake. I want to do it programmatically, I'm not just going to manually upload it. Um, so to do that, you need a stage. You can't just uh, say, hey, you know, load CSV file into Snowflake. Um, it doesn't really work like that. Um, so I use Airflow for this, but not really important for the purposes of this conversation. Um, so what I have here is my GUI S3 stage. Um, and if I go in here, you can see, I can see some uh, files, my price, stock prices for stock tickers. Um, and if I go over to my S3 bucket, you can see these three stock tickers are present in here. Basically, this acts as just kind of a landing area for any files before they upload into Snowflake. So this will query this S3 bucket to pull these files out, let you, you know, visualize what you actually have available here. So really useful, um, of course, because, you know, hey, I can look at files from one uh, UI, um, but getting to here is, is the annoying part, really. Um, so the first thing you're actually gonna wanna do is go into your um, Amazon management plane and go to your IAM roles. Um, and what you will do is create a new role um, that is going to be, let's say, um, it's gonna be an Amazon AWS account. Um, and then you are going to JSON um, and you can you know, shoot, and basically what you're gonna to wanna to add here, um, and this is the documentation, are, um, I'll just, I'll show you the one I already created. So you're going to go to JSON uh, section. So we'll go next, create policy. And you can edit this. And basically what you're gonna wanna do is have it look something like this. And I'll drop the link to the documentation where you can get these kind of examples below. Um, but if I go in here, and then copy and paste this. Um, And so I'll just show you up here. Um, but essentially, all you're doing, sorry, instead of roles, you're actually going into policies. Um, so within policies, you're going to go create a policy, and then you are going to JSON editor. Sorry for the little go down mystery lane there. Um, and then here you have your permissions here in this JSON file that you'll be using to connect. Um, and here you're just going to put in your bucket name, your S3 prefix, resource ID, so your ARN for your. Um, for your S3 bucket. And so once you're done with that, you will save this, you know, you add your own information in there. Um, and this will allow you, or is basically a policy we're gonna to attach to it. Well, we'll create for Snowflake that allows it to access this S3 bucket that we're using here. Um, and then after um, we created our policy, so you can see I have it S3 Snowflake connection here, um, we're gonna then go and create an IAM role. Um, so the IAM role here is just going to be basically going to up to create role. Um, again, you're going to want to have an AWS account. You're going to want to require an external ID um, because this is the ID that Snowflake is going to send to actually give it uh, the connection uh, credentials. Um, and then under add permissions, you're just going to add that permission that you created earlier. So that S3 Snowflake connection um, is what I called it. And then once you're done with that, you will want to uh, get the role ARN on it here. Um, and 
that's basically it on that side of things. Um, so, oh, and then also you uh, need to record the role ARN from this page. Um, so after you've created your account, um, record the ARN, um, you're gonna need that later. And then if we go over to Snowflake, worksheets, um, so here, you're going to want to create a worksheet and just run a command similar to this. So I called it S3 Snowflake, you can call it whatever you want. Type external stage, storage provider S3, enabled true. So it means it's accessible and usable. Um, you're gonna copy and paste that ARN you just copied from that role page onto here. Um, and then the allowed storage location is just that S3 bucket is. Um, so it knows, hey, these are the locations that you are. Um, and now we've created the stage now, or we've created the integration. Now we'll need to uh, define it as a stage. Um, so then what you're gonna wanna do is describe integration. Um, and so if you go here, it's going to give you some property values um, over in that field. So what you're gonna wanna do here is record the AWS or IAM user ARN, as well as the AWS external ID. Um, and that what those will both do is allow you to actually connect um, to your AWS or to Snowflake from a, uh, AWS um, and vice versa. This is what's going to actually allow that connection. So record these, just toss them in your notes app, and then we're going to add them back in the AWS console to I am role. Um, so then if we go back to our role we created here, you're then gonna click on the trust relationships tab, and then you're gonna edit policy. Go ahead just a second so you don't see all my so here in your edit trust policy what you're going to want to do here is set that take that external id copy and paste in this field and then take that uh, aws iam role and copy and paste it into um, this aws field under principal and this is the last step to creating that um connection uh, so now you can update trust policy save it um, it does sash these so it's kind of fuzzy or they won't take effect immediately sometimes um, if you write them, uh, but eventually they will just takes a, little, a few times to, uh, I guess, parse. Um, and then finally, we're going to actually create our Snowflake stage. Um, so to do that, what we'll do is go over um, to create QI S3 stage, um, storage integration, referencing that storage integration I created earlier, URL for the S3 uh, bucket here, and then just setting the file format so they know that I'm taking in CSV files um, from this stage. And that is all I have for you today. Now you have a fully functional uh, stage for you to load data from S3 into Snowflake. So great for intermediary location to hold your information or you actually bring it into database. And so hope you learned something. I learned a lot going through this. It took me a few hours rather than the eight minutes it's like I'm showing you here, but that's just because getting all the different resources and vision and permissions always tough when you're at when you're at a company rather than online. Um so anyways, there you have it. Hope you learned something. Have a good one. Data guy out.